Hey guys, this is Alfred back with another video and in today's video, I'll be talking about the new version 2.2 banners and whether or not you should be pulling for the 5 star limited characters. Like I said in all videos, please please pull for your favorite characters. This is a gacha game, please pull for your husband or waifus. Doesn't mean a character is meta, means you should 100% pull for them. If you don't like the character at all and you don't like their playstyle, please do not feel enticed to pull for them. But if you're here for a meta perspective, I'm here to give you guys my opinion on which of these characters are worth your stellar jades and which ones are very good investments for the future and with that let's begin with this video now for phase one the first character i want to be talking about is robin robin is the new harmony character from the live stream it seems that every single one of her skills buff her entire team it's not a single target buff for example like bronya or sparkle it's more of a team wide buff that you're providing for her whole team now probably the reason why you want to pull for her is her ultimate her ultimate is able to advance forward her whole team making all three of your teammates take and turn immediately which is very good and on top of that there will be a song playing in the background which is just sick now like i always say for harmony characters they are the best archetype to pull especially when you have enough dps and you have enough sustain in your team harmony characters are able to give you that a little bit more of a push for you to be doing more damage so that you will be able to complete your pure fiction and forgotten halls more easily so in my opinion if you don't have a good harmony character or you want one which can be generally used in all teams i 100 recommend you pull for robin the next character in phase one as well is topaz and numbi or aka just topaz i guess topaz is a hunt character but she is more of a follow-up attack sub dps it's very hard to play her as a main dps i would see her played in more follow-up attack oriented teams for example if you're playing dr ratio or you're playing himiko or herta most of the time you would just put topaz in as a sub dps and she will do a lot of damage even as a sub dps but she doesn't do a lot of damage as herself so in my opinion if you have a lot of follow-up attack dps recommend you pull for topaz she just juices up the damage just a little bit more and who knows right that a little bit more of damage can mean the difference between a three star and a two star run for your end game content the next phase two characters the first one we're talking about is boot hill boot hill is a single target physical damage hunt character from the live stream itself he specializes in basically killing opponents fast as possible as in like you're just able to nuke them and increasing your own damage at the expense of being more vulnerable his skill basically enters a dual state with the opponent making it such that both of you will be taking more damage but i don't see that as a problem taking more damage yourself doesn't matter especially if you have good sustain in your team it won't really affect you at all and the other gimmick you probably will be rolling boot hill for is the fact that he's able to apply physical weaknesses on your opponents making it such that you don't have to run silver wolf if you're playing boot hill and making it such that you can bring him in a lot of contents so in my opinion if you need a very strong physical dp Yes, especially a single target DPS. Let's say you're having trouble clearing the pure fiction or forgotten hull, you can definitely pull for Boot Hill. He is a super strong DPS. And the last character we'll talk about today is Fu Shen. Fu Shen is a quantum preservation character. In my opinion, she is the best sustain character. So what I mean by sustain is someone who's able to provide survivability for a team. So either a tank, so a preservation, or a abundance, a healer to heal your team. Now Fu Shen is best of both worlds she is the best tank she will absorb pretty much majority of your team's damage obviously they will be still taking a little bit of damage but she will be absorbing majority of it and the best part is her alt heals her teammates so that little bit of damage you take whenever you use her alt you will heal the teammates and the best part about fu shen is that yes she does absorb a lot of the hits her passive basically means that whenever she falls a certain health she will regenerate a huge portion of her health basically putting her back to 100 hp and making it look like she didn't take any damage and this is why fushan is very good on top of absorbing a lot of your team's damage she's able to heal and sustain herself as well as her teammates this is why in my opinion fushan is the best sustain character and if there's one character i feel like it's a super must pull in this game it's going to be fushan probably the best character in honkai star Rail at the moment so overall the two characters i'm looking forward to in version 2.2 is fushan and robin both are fantastic additions to your team if you have to choose between one let's say you don't have enough stellar jades i want 100% recommend you pull for Fushen. Fushen is a super great investment for your account. She has carried me basically from when her banner came out the first time up to now, and she will probably still be carrying me throughout this game. So in my opinion, pull for Fushen. If you have extra funds, pull for the other characters you really want. But if you have no idea which to pull for, pull for Fushen and then Robin and probably just save. Unless you need a DPS, you can pull for Boot Hill. And with that, thank you guys so much for
much for watching this video if you like this kind of videos please do leave a like it shows me i should be doing more comment down below who you will be pulling for in this version 2.2 i myself will be pulling for robin because i already have fushen and lastly do subscribe we'll be doing more videos like this in the future and with that i will see you guys next time peace